All right, guys, so basically I'm gonna be testing for sure what happens if you disconnect the positive cable and then a second test to see what happens when you disconnect the ground cable. Both of these will be tested with the motor running, basically idling in park, and uh, basically gonna find out definitively uh, what actually happens. Um, basically, this really came up because uh, of my little uh, quick disconnect uh, little tool that's down here. Uh, fortunately, I was doing the rewire for this, so I don't have uh, this particular version that's all wired up, ready to go. Uh, but what I do have is for the positive, I do have this guy set up. So I have a uh, 80 amp circuit breaker. Uh, I do also have a 15 amp bypass. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and test it uh, with the bypass hooked up. Uh, this is going to be with the uh, the positive um, removed, quote unquote. Basically, I'm going to be clicking that button while it's while it's going, and we're just going to see what happens. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, turn that back on uh, with the vehicle still back on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the ground cable uh, again, still while the motor's running, and let's see what happens. All right, obviously motor is on, and the very first test is I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the power. Uh, this is the positive side. Uh, basically, if you, you, know, you can't really see from here, but I have everything routed to um, first goes to the to the fusible link that comes stop of the vehicle, but then I also have to go to uh, an EDM circuit breaker, and that's just because I have a whole bunch of other crap that I have. Around. So I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, we will disconnect now and let's see if uh, my truck goes out. So, I've now disconnected the power and I have um, a 15 amp bypass that's uh, going through here right now. Um, I'm going to look here. Here's my bypass. And if you look inside, It looks like it can trip, but I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that it's gonna trip. Um, just a few minutes here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn this back back on, and uh, I'm gonna turn the truck on off and then on again, and then I'm gonna test the. Uh, test the okay, we went ahead and restarted the truck. It started up just fine. Um, I'm also gonna show you. ahead and restarted the truck. Everything started up just fine. The fuse, um, the bypass for the positive did uh, actually go ahead and uh, end up blue. I figured it would. Uh, so now let's go ahead and see what happens when uh, I go ahead and take the ground terminal uh, off the truck now again while it's, right, while it's running. So same issue. Um, not a problem there with uh, with it working with the positive or the negative being removed. So while I'm here, I'm going to test one more thing, um, and that's actually while the, the ground cable is removed, I'm actually going to turn off the positive as well, and uh, let's see what the truck does. We have a turned off truck because I have now uh, disconnected both the positive and the ground. So the truck uh, went ahead and starts just fine once I put the ground cable back on. I um, closed up the, uh, the circuit, uh, but in doing so, what you'll notice is um, everything got reset. So um, it resets back to uh, 1 o'clock and the stereo goes ahead and gets reset back to 12 o'clock. So unfortunately now I'm going to be uh, running a, a little bit goofy for the next 40 or so miles while the uh, the ECU kind of relearns the, uh, the field mapping for the truck. All right, hopefully you can see it in the video here, but uh, actually you actually should be able to. Uh, you can see here that yes, uh, it did went ahead and uh, blew that 15 amp fuse.